Hello, there's been some recent additions to the IPy PDF widget uh, that I'm going to go through in this video. Uh, so most notably is this site escape widget. Um, you select the directory of papers and you generate a site escape. It'll link um, contextually similar nodes together. So these are all uh, different subnodes of, of a paper. They're colored by paper. So uh, this teal one, if we click on a node, it'll open up the section where it was found. And we can click on this node to, to go to that section. And it's, it's um, bounded by the boxes that, are, that define the section. There you go, that's the site escape. Um, see that there's two papers currently being shown and there's no connection between them. Um, second update is an automatic parsing utility. So there's two options. One is to parse the document totally. This uh, will determine which sections of the document are, are section headers and which of them are text and also, if there's any pictures in this, it should be able to identify images. And this is this is a figure, so it should label this as a, as a figure. So we'll go ahead and parse it. One thing to note about this process is that there's still no way to um, algorithmically determine the hierarchy of these nodes. So while they are being generated, uh, we still don't have a method for putting them in the hierarchy where they belong. Uh, so right here is our image on page five. Is that correct? Probably. Most of these are just text nodes. And then the ones with the, with the label here, these are section headers. So every, every word you see here corresponds to a section. Click on it to go to that section, model LL, and the uh, text was extracted correctly. So we go back to the start here and this should be our title. Uh, and I like to put everything inside of the title. Now this drag and drop functionality, um, this is, the PR is open. So th this widget here is called IPyTree. Um, uh, it's developed by QuantStack. Uh, it's an open source project. And I put in a PR to add this drag and drop functionality, uh, but it hasn't yet been accepted. So uh, eventually this will be open to everyone else. But um, at, at the moment, it's only available to me. Or you could pull the pull the uh, branch and install it yourself. Uh, but we can move these nodes around and um, make uh, and define the hierarchy as we go. So this is part of the abstract. Uh, this is part of models, which does not appear to have, oh it does. Where is models? Oh, it's right here. and add that to models. Just a footnote, put it there. Well, I won't waste your time and um, set this hierarchy, but I think you get the idea. We just drag nodes where they belong. Um, I think at the moment it probably is just faster to set the, uh, to construct this all from scratch. Uh, so I'm just going to delete all of this content here with the delete button. It's kind of dangerous, but it's what it is. And in fact, I'm not going to waste my time and go through all that, but I'll just, um, start from scratch here, show you how that would be done. It's the same as it was before. 
um, adding nodes. Add a subsection for the abstract, add text. There we go. And that screwed up, so I'm going to redo that. Yeah, I don't know. It's yet to be determined whether or not the uh, manual way is faster than the automatic parser, but the automatic parser is cool, uh, especially if you don't necessarily need the hierarchical structure. Maybe you just want the section headers and the page numbers. Um, and that way you could use it to um, create a table of contents. Uh, not, not a structured table of contents, but uh, at least it'd be hyperlinked. Um, there's been some changes to Spacey, the way Spacey works. So, uh, we still need to hit the refresh button, but now we have a table, an interactive table to show all the entities. Uh, so all of these are entities that were found. It gets some of them wrong. It thinks the model BB is a product, and maybe it is. Um, it's a machine learning model, but maybe you could think of it as a product. Oh no, it's not a, it's a mathematical model. But same difference. Uh, and these are still the, uh, the tokens. Uh, but that's it. Thank you.